<laughs> the biggest fish I've hooked all day. Hey Jetty Rockers, welcome back to Jetty Rocks Fishing. Well, today I got a pretty cool video for y'all. We're gonna do kind of like a taste test between freshwater catfish and saltwater catfish. I was out fishing with Larry the other day, we're out croaker fishing, and we caught three different kinds of catfish. We caught the saltwater hardhead, which we will not eat. I do not like those fish. We also caught a white bullhead, which is a freshwater catfish, and we caught a gaff top sail cat. So today we're gonna do a catch and cook taste test between a freshwater catfish and a saltwater catfish. So check out these clips of us catching these cool catfish, and then I'll see you guys at the cleaning table, and then we'll be in the kitchen. Jetty Rockers. If you could, go ahead and go over to JettyRocks.com. You can check out some of these cool hats that we have over there. We also have some tackle available and we will have more available soon. And also guys, if you want to book a charter with me, you can book a charter there because I am now running charters. So all my information is on that website. So go check it out y'all. And you can be in your own very own Jetty Rocks fishing video. I hope to see you guys soon out on the water with me. Let's get back to the video. There we go. Oh yeah, that's a croaker. He was at first and then he slowed off. That's a little smaller one. We'll let that one go. They are biting. Whew. I got one right here too. Tell you what guys, when you're out here catching these croakers and you're using this many rods, it becomes cockpit chaos. <laughs> As Larry would say. I got one right there. I got one right here. There we go. There's a good one. That's a good one right there. Oh yeah, that's a really good one, man. That ain't a catfish. Oh, it's a kitty. That's a nice size kitty. Channel cat. Channel cat. Is that a white? Kitty? That's a white. Yeah. Looks like a white to me. Or it's a bullhead. That's a white cat. Yep, white bullhead. All right, well that's a white bullhead and that is dinner. That is a good eating fish. Boy, I can get my hand in there and get that. See where that hook is so you catch a saltwater croakers and freshwater bullhead catfish or white catfish in the same spot tell me that ain't crazy Boxfish brought it to the rail. Oh boy, it's gonna be a kitty cat, I think, or a very big croaker. This is a croaker, he is Godzilla, y'all. Oh, what is that? What is that? Big old sail cat, big, big old sailie. That is a big one. That's a big old slime pot. You know what? I think I'm gonna keep him. I think we're gonna take this this catfish and that uh white catfish and do a taste test. 
That's what I think we're gonna do. There we go. Oh, another good fish. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You too? Whoa, 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 whoa. This, I don't know what's going on here. I don't even know where he's going. Where is this guy going? I don't know what we got here, bro. <laughs> the biggest fish I've hooked all day. That might be a redfish, man. Oh no. What we got here? He's coming up. Big old sail cat. That's a dandy one right there. Woo wee. That's a big one. That is a big one. That is a stud. Alrighty. All right, look at that thing. Holy cow. <laughs> That's a cool looking fish right there. And sail cats are actually really good to eat, guys. They are awesome, actually. Look at all that fish, y'all. We got some white catfish, some sail catfish, and a whole boatload of croakers. All right, y'all, we got our catfish here. We got our freshwater bullhead or white catfish, white bullhead. And we got two nice gaff top sail cats, which is our saltwater cats. And we caught them in the same place at the same time, basically, using some squid and some shrimp. We were targeting croakers, but these were some incidental bycatch. So I figured we'd do a catch and cook with them. We'll go ahead and do the white cat first. And catfish are pretty easy. You just feel right about here. You feel where the rib cage is. Come along top, come down, twist your knife. Just go along the back here and it comes right off. And you do lose a little bit of meat. Not much meat, because mostly up here is all waste. But you can take the rib cages off if you want to, but it's just a lot of trouble for very little meat but so there basically is the catfish you could take the belly meat on bigger fish i do but on these smaller ones i'm not going to mess with it all right and these fish are pretty easy to skin you just lay your knife right along that skin and just ride it a little slippery but once you get a hold just sit there and move it back and forth it'll come right off you got a really nice little white catfish fillet all right, and for the sail cat, the saltwater cat, you do it the same way. Come right along where those rib cages are. Put your knife over. As you can see, you get a lot more meat off a, a bigger catfish. There you go, that's a nice fillet. And sail cat's actually very good. If you've never tried sail cat before, you really should give it a shot because it is a very good eating fish. They are a predatory fish. They do scavenge a little, but they're not what you'd consider a bottom feeding fish scavenger a lot of times we'll catch them using live croakers and live mullet catch trying to fish for trout and we're going to skin the sail cat just like we did the uh white cat i try to stay up off the skin just a little bit so you can get a lot of that red meat leave a lot of that red meat on the skin because sail cats do have some red meat and it does not taste all that great but what we'll do is we'll cut this off, cut that bloodline out on both sides. And when I get in the kitchen, I'll trim off some of this other red meat. So you just have a really nice piece of white filet. All right, here's our two different catfish fillets. This is the freshwater white cat, and this is the saltwater sail cat. You see the white cat is more opaque, kind of a yellow tint to it, and really 
really bright and then you have a sail cat which is looks like typical fish meat it's a little white a little off colored but not bad looking at all all right y'all we're in the kitchen i got my catfish fillets i got my freshwater catfish and i got my uh, sail cat all cleaned up no bloodline no dark meat whatsoever just clean nice looking fillets so now i'm just going to bread them in my house autry I'm just going to do simple fried because I just want to taste the difference. I'm not going to do anything that's going to mask the taste of it. I know some people say, oh, all fried fish taste the same. It doesn't to me. I actually can tell the difference of fish when it's fried. But we're going to do this. So I got my fresh water all battered up. I got some sail cat. And they look totally different, the shapes. So I'll be able to tell the difference when they're fried. Like that. Alrighty. So I'll wait for my oil to get hot. And then we will fry these up. Alright, I got my green light. So I'm going to go ahead and put my freshwater cat in there. Right, got those two fillets. I'm going to put in some sail cat. Might be able to put all of this in there. Get it all done in one shot. Right, there we go. All right, as soon as that's done cooking, we'll get to tasting. All righty. My catfish is done. good all right i'm gonna hit it with some salt and let it cool down a little bit and we'll taste it all right y'all we are going to taste this i'm going to taste some sail cat first there's a piece of sail cat i really like sail cat i mean i've said it before I don't even really consider sail cat a trash fish. Super hot. It's a really nice white meat. And it's really good. I mean, that's really good. Just really hot. That's sail cat. Now, let's do the freshwater white bullhead or white cat wow it actually has no flavor whatsoever that's super mild has the same texture as a sail cat pretty much but the only thing I can really taste is the breading and the um and the salt. It's pretty good, just super mild. Sail cat does have not a fishy flavor, but does have more of a flavor, a good flavor, not fishy at all. Uh, the way you know how to explain it, it's just a, a catfish flavor, just tastes like fresh uh, channel catfish, kind of. It's pretty good. All right, guys, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. A little bit of a taste test between a freshwater catfish and a saltwater catfish. The gaff top sail catfish, not the hardhead bullhead. I have eaten those and I do not like them. A lot of people tell me they taste good and they like them. Well, that's great. I've eaten them personally, and to me, they taste like straight mud. They just do not taste good to me, in my opinion. But I do like the sail cat. Sail cat is a very good eating fish, and I love freshwater catfish. I've never eaten a freshwater cat that I didn't like. I've eaten all kinds of species of them. The yellow bullhead or the butter cat, the white bullhead, speckled bullhead, channel catfish. I haven't eaten blue cat and I haven't eaten um, flathead because we don't have those in my area. But catfish to me is a really good fish. So if y'all ever catch a sail cat, go out and try it. Cut all that bloodline out and you won't regret it. It is a really, really good fish. 
Well, thank you guys very much for watching. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. If you haven't hit that subscribe button, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that bell for notifications so you get notified. And those thumbs up, y'all, those thumbs up really help us out a lot. Till I see y'all again, tight lines, jetty rockers. See y'all real soon.